Today, I'm cooking butter prawns with egg frost. It's crispy, tasty, and so delicious, which will be perfect for a Chinese New Year dish or for any special occasion. It's also perfect with rice or on its own. This recipe is for four to six servings. The ingredients needed are 400 grams of prawns, clean and deveined, 7 eggs, 250 grams of cooking oil, half a chili, 5 stalk of curry leaves, 60 grams of butter, 1 teaspoon of salt for the prawns, half tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of chopped garlic, quarter teaspoon of salt for the egg frost, 3 tablespoon of crispy flour, and some cooking oil for deep frying. The full list of ingredients is in the see more link. Switch on the heat to medium, pour about 500 grams of cooking oil for deep frying and wait for the oil to get hot. This will take about 6 to 8 minutes. Meanwhile, marinate the prawns with half teaspoon of salt. Carefully rub them to evenly distribute the salt. Turn the prawns to the other side and sprinkle another half teaspoon of salt and rub to marinate. Next, separate the yolk from the egg white. I am breaking each egg in a separate bowl to ensure bad ones will not contaminate the rest of the eggs. With a large spoon, scoop out the egg yolks and set the egg white aside. We will only use the egg yolk for this recipe. Whisk all the egg yolk together until well combined. Then, strain the egg yolk. Stirring with a spatula over a container with a pointed opening. We only want the liquid part of the yolk. Set it aside. Next, remove all the curry leaves from the stem and put into a bowl. Pour all the sugar and quarter teaspoon of salt. Chop half of the chili and add it into the bowl. Together with the chopped garlic, set it aside. The cooking oil should be really hot by now. Immerse a pair of wooden cooking chopsticks into the oil. If bubbles form up at the tip, the oil is hot enough. Sprinkle one third of the crispy flour all over the prawns and rub it evenly. Repeat with another one third of the flour. This time, a lot more of the moisture is absorbed and the flour stick to the prawn shell. Sprinkle the rest of the flour. The prawns are very well coated with flour and most of the moisture has been absorbed. Ensure to coat the prawns well with flour to avoid oil splashes. Add the prawns one by one into the oil, frying in batches of four at a time. Let them deep fry for about 45 seconds on one side or until just turn orange. Then, turn them to cook on the other side for another 45 seconds or until they have shrunk a little. After 45 seconds, flip them one last time to cook for another 30 seconds or until crispy and the flour is turning golden. Put them on the strainer and shake off the excess oil. Let them rest to drip off the any excess oil. Repeat with the second batch of prawns until complete. Alright, all the prawns are done. Set them aside. Switch off the heat. In a separate pan or wok, switch on the heat to medium. Pour all of 250 grams of cooking oil into the pan. Now we will cook the buttery egg floss. As the oil is getting hot, add all the butter into the oil and continuously stir until the oil's mixture releases bubble from the heat. This takes about 1 minute and 30 seconds. Make sure that the oil mixture is hot but not smoking hot as the butter can burn. Once the oil mixture is bubbling vigorously, increase the speed of stirring while slowly pouring in the strained egg yolk like this. Be careful of the oil splashes. Keep stirring until the egg yolks are added. See, the egg frost is starting to form beautifully. While adding the curry leaves mixture, stir vigorously as the egg yolk can burn easily at the bottom of the pan. 
after stirring for about one and a half minute. The egg frost is turning to deep yellow color and the oil is starting to foam a little. Continue stirring until all the eggs are golden yellow color and the oil releases bigger foam. After three and a half minutes, bigger and more foam is released. However, when I stop stirring, the foam rises up and fall back down. It is not ready yet. Keep stirring. After 4 minutes and 10 seconds, the foam almost completely covered the egg frost. The foam still fall back down. It's almost ready. Keep stirring. After 4 minutes and 40 seconds, the foam completely covered the egg frost. This time, the foam fall back but quickly come back up. It's ready. Carefully add all the prawns into the oil mixture and stir to mix them evenly. After 15 seconds, remove the prawns from the oil. Allowing the excess oil to drip off. Set aside. Stir the egg frost a little. Switch off the heat. Prepare a strainer with heat resistant container underneath. Strain all the egg frost and ingredients over the strainer. Allow 4 to 5 minutes for the excess oil to drip off or until the egg frost dry up. Carefully stir to remove oil from the egg frost. Then, place the prawns onto the serving plate. Sprinkle the rest of the egg frost on the prawns. It looks and smells so good. Let's eat! So delicious! The egg frost is crispy and buttery with hints of curry flavors, chili and garlic. The prawns is sweet, tender and very juicy. This will be perfect with rice or for a special occasion. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye!